All right, so uh, I'm up here on the uh, deck and um, there's the solar panels over there. And this is gonna be a little video of the, the new shower system that we've got set up. So um, basically, you know, we've had the shower built for a little while, for a year or so. And you could take bucket showers. And then, um, uh, and our whole principle is that we try to um, uh, set it up to where we have redundancy so that we always uh, are not dependent on the technology. And so um, that's what we've done here. We started with the most low-tech solution, which is just uh, bucket showers uh, right in the shower that we built. And then the next stage is we built this uh, little tower, representative little tower. And what I mean by representative is that we're building an actual big stone tower for up at the cottage. But this is the one for down here. And uh, and then we had just gravity feed with no, no hot water, just gravity feed shower, which was nice, except in the winter. And so now we're going to the next step, but we want to make, make sure we maintain our independency and the redundancy of it. So now what we've done is we've piped this in. And uh, so there's uh, once this barrel's full of water, of course you have gravity, gravity feed water down below to the shower, which I'll show you. And we also now, um, because of the 12 volt pump, when we open up this valve here um, and we pressurize the system, it actually will fill this barrel. We're gonna get a uh, float valve that'll shut it off, but it'll keep this barrel full. And then we'll put another valve down below where you can switch between tank water, this is the tank, and this, uh, uh, gravity feed water um, and the tank feeds through the pump. All right, so there'll be another pipe that'll come up and we're gonna have a pitcher pump built up above this and the pitcher pump will be a fallback that will allow us to fill this without uh, running buckets of water. We're, uh, this, this right here is about 18 feet from the ground right here. And so if you're another three or four, three feet above that, it's getting way up there. So we'll have a, a pitcher pump, hand pump, to be able to fill that as a backup. All right, so I'll go downstairs and try not to uh, fall. Yes, we're gonna be building some stairs, and no, I'm not getting an elevator. But for right now, it's the ladder. So uh, bear with me as I climb down. So from here, you can see the See the little mini mini water tower. There's the solar panels. And what we've done is we've wired our 12 volt RV pump to the solar panel, solar battery system. So we catch water off the roof. The water comes down to this black poly tank and uh, which stays full pretty much most of the time. And now we've piped it uh, in down there below there's a drain for when it freezes we've got an extra bucket filling pipe here fountain and there's going to be right here we've already got it started there's going to be a huge three tank uh, excuse me three well uh, bar sink which we've got over here which i've had laying around for a long time we're going to clean that up and that'll be for cleaning things Cleaning fish, I don't know, doing dishes. All right, we're going to the shower. It's a little dark in here, but uh, all right. So water comes in from down below the very lowest part there and it comes in and this is the pump and the pump draws the water from the water tank and then it goes into the system, which is pressurized, uh, which pressurizes the system. It comes on when the water comes on the pump kicks on. All right, and so we got water comes in to that little hot water heater. This was about a hundred dollars at the camping camping store. There's the shower head. And then we've got set up here, there's a pipe that's gonna be going out to the sinks. We'll run hot water and cold water out to the sinks. So basically, if you, uh, if you have solar and you have power, battery power, you can run the pump everything's automatic and you get full pressure. If for some reason we don't have that or don't have access to it or the sun hasn't been out for a while or we've lost access to solar power, 
we can switch over to the gravity feed pipe which comes from up there which is the barrel it will still feed into the water heater if we have propane if we don't have propane we just don't use it we go back to but we can still use the shower all right so we're still not done we still got quite a few things to do and I'll show you another video once we get the sinks hooked up and all that but for now uh, I just took the first shower here <laughs> 